Well, everybody, the maintenance is complete. I never intended it to be a how to clean your Sebenza video, nor do I really want to make one. There's a lot of them on YouTube, and everybody who has done one has done a good job. One thing I do recommend, though, is using the Chris Nate Reeve fluorinated grease. Uh, don't mind the paper clips, it's just a tool my buddy made to take down the MNUM Zan before we had tools for it. Uh, it's worth the money. It'll get you through 100 cleanings easy. I mean, it doesn't take much to go a very long way to get your knife done. And it really, really is good. I mean, honestly, if you can't get 20 cleanings out of this, you can't get one. But I, I really think there's many more in there than that. Uh, I use it quite liberally, even though they say to use it sparingly. And I like the knife to be slick as snot when it's operating. You don't really need a whole lot to get it that way. But I go longer between maintenance on mine than most people probably do when they spend good money on a knife. I, uh, I go farther between the maintenances because I have spent good money on a knife. So, slick as snot. Not a sound. Not a grind. Nothing. Tight as can be without a wiggle. And loose. Lockups at about 45%. So I went 5% back to the good, give or take. You see a little bit of leftover grease in there. I got to wipe out right on the edge of the silver for the blade. Builds up in that corner. Because I have a little extra in there. Now she's good again for several months unless I get it exceptionally wet or something. But maintenance is easy, which makes this knife even more desirable in my eyes. Three screws, take it completely apart, wipe down the inside of the handles, get all the pocket lint and the junk out of there, wipe down the blue and the blade stop, the blue bushing, the blade stop, the pivot pin. I make sure I lube the outside of the pivot pin and the outside of the bushing, where the pivot pin meets the bushing, where the bushing meets the blade. That makes all the difference to how it moves. And I want to make sure I have enough on the phosphor bronze bushings, especially when they're perforated like these. I put a little bit down on the edge of the blade to hold them onto the blade. I use it like a glue, the, the fluorinated grease. Then I put the bushings on. I put a little bit on the outside of the handles where the bushing meets, and I also put it in the holes on the uh, phosphor bronze bushings, and then a touch on the edge of the phosphor brown bushings where they meet the handle. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm putting very little bit every place I'm putting it. It just adds up, but it adds up to smoothness. And for a knife you use hard news all the time, I think that's important, especially one with a lock that locks up this tight and you can use like a fixed blade. I want it to be smooth when I use it. Gives you a good chance to clean the barrel, clean or clean the blade, clean the inside of the handles. Check your pocket clip screw. They have come loose before on me on a different knife. You know, this one has never moved. And to go along and just give it a general inspection. Everything on this knife was perfect, of course. And now we'll stay that way again for several months as my everyday user beater until it requires more maintenance so there it is my everyday carry user beater knife maintained for happiness and longevity I don't want to wear those bushings or the blade bushing or the handles out and start to develop some slop in there I think with a lot of grit and no maintenance that could happen over time, but I do still think it would take quite a long time to do that with no maintenance. I just like mine to work a little better. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little bit of vid on these. Everybody stay safe and take care of each other, and uh, that's the end. Take care.